Deep in the cosmic expanse, there was a lone god, ignorant of his origins, with a deep desire to craft a world in his own image. Yaldabaoth perceived the cosmos as a sea of disorder. He learned through trial and error that only destruction bred more chaos. And so, he embarked on a path to balance the dark with the light. In what could be perceived as millennia or mere seconds, he forged the world. He separated the sky from the waters, and from the waters emerged land, and crafted the sun, the moon and stars orchestrated to govern the planet. But Yaldabaoth, misguided, was not the supreme god of the cosmos. Before Yaldabaoth, there was Bythos and Barbelo, the masculine and feminine aspects of God. Together they birthed celestial pairs known as Eons, dwelling in the heavenly Pleroma. Among them was Sophia, Eon of Wisdom. Yearning to explore beyond the Pleroma, she separated from her divine consort to forge her own path. This disrupted the balance, leading to a cataclysmic exile into the Dark Abyss. From her descent, Yildabarth was born, but he was blind to Sophia's presence. Overwhelmed by guilt, Sophia banished herself from the cosmos, but energy never dies. As eons pass, a bright light pierces the abyss. The eon of divine intellect, Naus, calls for Sophia. Embracing the call of God's first successor, Sophia emerged from the shadows of the cosmos, reclaiming her divine form. Naus reveals to Sophia that Yaldabaoth has created a false world, imprisoning life and posing as the sole creator of existence. The revelation hits Sophia like a tidal wave. The shadow of her forgotten son crashing through the walls of her memory. Naus, the bearer of cosmic truth, reminds Sophia that even after her descent, her divine light was never lost. He welcomes her back to the Pleroma, the home of the divine. Yet, even in her restoration, traces of sadness remained. Her redemption came at a cost, for what followed would change everything. The Supreme Mother, the wife of God, Barbalo, descends before Sophia. All Sophia ever wanted was to be in the warm embrace of Mother Father God. But she couldn't rid herself of the guilt and shame to fully embrace Barbello's warm and radiant light. Why are you ashamed, Sophia? I don't know my purpose. I thought creating my own successor would make me feel worthy of being... here. But now, the very being I created holds the power I once thought I needed. Barbello, the pillar of divinity, imparted Sophia with a message the hidden truth. You are a unique expression of the divine plan. Bythos and Barbalo, the mother-father god, are expressed through you. As everything in creation is connected, weaved from a single source, the divine consciousness. Wisdom lies in understanding the lessons from the shadows we create. These are the gifts and challenges of free will. Now, you hold the key. Will you share this truth with your son and his creation, imperfect yet full of potential? Will you illuminate them with the truth of our existence? Or will you choose to stay in the perfect heaven of the Pleroma, unchanging, unchallenged, but separate from the ever-evolving cosmos? Sophia, the goddess of wisdom, decides to create her fate. Her essence disperses like stardust in the cosmic wind. Only this time not as an act of resignation, but intention. To bring the truth of divine light to humanity. Sophia descends to Yaldabaoth's domain weaving her presence, as the divine feminine, into the fabric of creation. Before there was depth to the skies, I was brought forth. Before the waters were abundant, I was there. Before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills rolled, I was there when he made man from the ashes of the earth, when he imposed boundaries upon the seas, in the world's first bits of soil, and he marked out the foundation of the planet, I nestled myself inside it, like a master worker, the Divine Mother.
But like my son, I also learned to balance the light with the darkness. And in liberating the human race, I would find a way to bring them the truth about their existence. <laughs>